I think we're going to have a great relationship with America, regardless of who is in the White House, because we have had a great relationship when it was a Trump presidency before and when it's been a, a Biden presidency. Um, obviously, we'd have a little easier time, I think, getting new uh, pipeline infrastructure built if it was a, a Republican presidency. But I, I think that we, we, we've been able to have constructive conversations around Line 5, which has been a, a, an important area of dispute, and the Biden administration supported us in an amicus brief in saying that we have to be mindful of the 1977 Pipeline Treaty. So I think there's a bit of a reality that is setting in that uh, perhaps if we approach the Americans from, um, in the case of the Democrats, maybe we talk a little bit more about hydrogen and natural gas and building out that infrastructure for the new hydrogen economy. Um, maybe when we talk to the Republicans, we might be able to, to start the conversation again about how we get more of our bitumen down to the uh, substantial refining resources in, in uh, Texas to be able to, to provide that heavy crude. I think it, it changes the nature of the conversation and maybe the emphasis that we have, but I think we'll continue to have a robust trading relationship regardless of, of who is in the White House. For instance, um, I looked at the cross-border trade between Alberta and America, and it's about $186 billion that we see um, with a, a lot of, of, uh, of Alberta uh, energy products going south and, and various products coming back up north. So that's going to continue regardless of who gets elected.